everybody, I'm Gigi, and this, poof, is my family. And these, poof, are my friends. Welcome to Gigi and Friends. Grab your dolls and come play with us. Hi, Nana. Hi, Papa. Well, I'm already impressed. First day on the job and she's even early. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, Nana. Good morning, Papa. Oh, I was so excited I could barely sleep a wink last night. Oh, you definitely take after your Nana, Gigi. Whenever I'm excited about something, I can never sleep either. So I barely got a wink of sleep last night myself. I couldn't wait for you to come, hon. I'm excited to show you what we're going to be baking today, but I didn't want to get started till Tessa got here. Where is your BFF? She just sent me a text and says she should be here any minute now. I'm here. Hi, Tessa. Hi, Gigi. Oh, Gigi, that outfit, though. It's so super cute. It's got my name written all over it. Oh, no, you don't. You're not borrowing this skirt until you return my other two skirts that you borrowed last week. Oh, sorry about that. It's true. I really am the worst person for borrowing things and taking, like, forever to return them. Well, are we still having a sleepover at your house this weekend? Yeah, definitely. So your mom said it's okay? Yeah, she did. So I'll bring your skirts with me. And I've got a really cute t-shirt that I think it'll look good with your leopard print skirt. Maybe we could try mixing and matching some of our clothes. What a great idea. We could try putting together some new little outfits. And maybe with the money that we earned today from Nana and Papa, we could buy some fashion crush. I love the little outfits in there. And you never know what you're going to get. That sounds like a great idea. I love fashion crush. It makes me so excited for the weekend to come. But I'm also excited to bake with your Nana. Did she say what we're going to be baking today? No, not yet. She was waiting until you got here. Oh, that was nice. Okay, girls. It's 9 a.m. Customers will be coming soon. Can somebody please put the open sign on the door? I will, Nana. Thanks, Tessa. Well, my darling, I guess I better head over to the market. Well, please don't forget to take those baguettes that I baked for you. Gigi, could you please bring your papa over those two baguettes? Sure, Nana, but what's a baguette? Oh, they're right in the basket beside you. A baguette is French bread. Some people call it French bread, some people call it a breadstick, and some people call it a baguette. Mom said I'd learn lots this summer. Two baguettes coming right up, papa. Thanks, my darling. You're welcome. Well, have a great day with your Nana today. Good luck. Thank you. So, Nana, what are we baking today? We are baking good old-fashioned gingerbread men today. A customer I've had for quite some time just ordered one dozen gingerbread man cookies. Oh, yum! I love gingerbread man cookies. Me too. The biggest problem about working at the bakery is I'm going to want to eat everything. Oh, I know. I was the same when I first started at the bakery. But you kind of get used to it after a while. All right, girls. Well, the first thing that we do before we start baking is wash our hands. I've already washed mine, so go wash your hands, girls, and I'll get all the ingredients together for our gingerbread cookies. Sure, Nana. Come on, Tess. Where is the gingerbread cutter? I know I set it over here somewhere. Oh, there it is right there. Silly me. Got the cutter. We've got the flour, the rolling pin, my mixing bowl, and the measuring cup. Perfect. We're ready, Nana. Look what I found, your apron and hat. Do I look like an official baker? You sure do, honey. You and Tessa are the prettiest little bakers I ever did see. Thank you, Nana. I see you've got all the ingredients out to make the gingerbread men. So what's the first step? The first thing we want to do is measure out all of our ingredients and then mix them all up in that big bowl there. Would you like to add an egg, Tessa? Sure, Nan. There. What's in this cup? That's ground ginger. We just have to measure out two teaspoons. Oh, okay. There. Great job, Tessa. Gigi, would you like to mix it all together, please? Yeah, sure. I'd love to. Excuse me, Tess. Yeah, no problem. There. Ooh, look at that. It's all brown like a gingerbread man. Now I'm going to add flour to the tabletop so our cookies don't stick. And now we'll roll out some cookie dough. Tessa, do you mind if I roll out the cookie dough? No, go ahead. Thanks. There, Nana. How's that? That's perfect. 
Why, thank you. Tessa, do you want to be the first one to cut out a gingerbread man? Sure, but where's the cookie cutter? I've got it, Tessa, right over here. Thanks, Nan. Oh, look, Nan, here comes a customer, our first customer of the day. Hi. Hi there, welcome to Sweetie Pie Bakery. Thank you. What can we help you with? Are the pies in the window raspberry? They sure are. We also have blueberry and apple pie. Mmm, I love all three kinds of pie. And the blueberry smells really good. But the raspberry pie, it looks the best. I think I'll have one raspberry pie, please. You got it. One raspberry pie coming right up. Gigi, I can't wait to show Nana what we did. Our gingerbread men turned out really good. One's a little bit bigger than the other three, but you know, they're still adorable. Ooh, let's see. Oh, those are adorable. Mmm, they smell delicious too. I'll have to get some gingerbread cookies next time I'm in, Nana. But thank you for my pie. You're welcome. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. Nana, the cookies are all cut out. Do you want us to put them in the oven? Well, let's take a look. Oh, they look amazing, girls. You're doing a fantastic job, Gigi and Tessa. Yes, please put them in the oven. The customer's going to be here shortly, so hopefully they'll be all baked and ready to go. And we're doing one dozen. Nana, how many cookies are in one dozen? Twelve. How many cookies did we cut out, Tess? Ten. Can you please cut out two more to make a full dozen? That's a total of 12 cookies. Yeah, sure. I'm on it, boss. Thank you. First batch of gingerbread man cookies going in. Isn't this fun, Tess? I'm having the best day ever. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Gigi, the oven mitts on you, they're, they're like 10 times too big for you. <laughs> I know, I know. But they get the job done. That they do. Oh, look, here comes another customer. Cool. Wow, is she ever beautiful. She's super fashionable. Yeah, I love her outfit. Me too. Mmm, that blueberry pie smells good. Oh, this place smells so delicious. Hi there, I'm Katie. I'm Tessa. Welcome to Sweetie Pie Bakery. Oh, thanks, Tessa. But I'm actually a regular. I have a real sweet tooth, so I'm at the bakery all the time. And you must be Nana's granddaughter, Gigi. I am. How did you guess? Oh, she talks about you all the time. She does? Yeah, she talks about you, she talks about your younger brother Levi, and your little sisters, the triplets, and don't you have an older sister about the same age as me named Lacey? Yep, that's all of us. Oh, she really loves you guys. And she told me you're really into fashion. Oh, I do. I'm a little obsessed with clothes. I absolutely love fashion. But please don't judge me on my outfit right now. <laughs> the elements are a little bit too big for me. Still looks cute on you though. I love fashion so much too. You'll have to come to my store. It's called the Fashion Crush. It's downtown, right beside the bridal boutique. Are you kidding me? My sister Lacey just got a job at the bridal boutique. Oh, how cool is that? I can't wait to meet your sister. I'm sure we'll be great friends. You and Tessa and Lacey all have to come visit me at Fashion Crush. We've got so much cute stuff in there. Tessa and I were just talking about getting some Fashion Crush for our sleepover. So we'll definitely have to come by the store. Actually, why don't we deliver the cookies to you since they're not ready? Would that be okay with you? Oh, that's more than okay. I would love that. So I'll see you girls over at Fashion Crush. I can't wait. Are you excited to come to Fashion Crush? If you are, hit the like button and let us know. Well, it was really nice to meet you both. And please say hi to your Nana Gigi. And I'll see you girls over at Fashion Crush. I can't wait. Bye. Bye. So how are those cookies coming along, girls? I know our customer's probably going to be here soon to pick them up. Oh, Nan, she was just here. We just met Katie. Uh-oh, was she upset her cookies weren't ready? No, she wasn't upset at all. She's really, really nice. And Nana, she works at a store called Fashion Crush. Can you believe this? It's right beside the bridal boutique where Lacey got a job this summer. And Katie told Tessa and I that we should come to her store, and we said we'd deliver the cookies by hand. We'd take them straight down to Fashion Crush for her. I hope that's okay with you, Nana. Of course, honey, that's wonderful. And since the cookies are almost done, why don't you girls take your aprons off? I'll finish up the cookies. And I, of course, have the money that you earned today, but I also got you a little surprise. You did, Nana? Thank you. What is it? Well, it wouldn't be a surprise if I told you. Ooh, I 
can't wait to find out what our surprise is. Okay, well, we'll take our aprons off and I'll go get Tessa. Tessa, Tessa. Yes? Take your apron off. Nana's got a surprise for us. She does? What is it? I have no idea. Come on, hurry up. Okay, I'll set my apron over here. There we go. Okay, Nana, we're ready. Well, that was super fast, girls. Now let's get to that surprise that I have for you both and work a little bit of magic. Magic? I didn't know your Nana had magical powers too. Yeah, where do you think I get it from? Okay, Gigi, we'll start with you. Look me in the eyes, please. I'm ready. One, two, three, poof! <gasps> Nana, Nana! Oh my goodness, you got me a fashion crush! Tessa, can you believe it? We were just talking about fashion crush, Nana, and we wanted to get some for our sleepover. I know, honey. I heard you. Oh, thank you. You're just the best Nana ever. Oh, I love fashion crush. You know how much I love clothes, Nana. I know. I know my granddaughter well. Well, let's put this fashion crush off to the side because now we have to get Tessa's surprise. Put that over there. Oh, I can't even believe it still. Oh, Nana, you're the best. Okay, Tessa, are you ready for your surprise? Am I? Yes, please, Nana. Okay then, honey, look me in the eyes. I'm ready. One, two, three, poof. Oh my goodness, Gigi, I got a fashion crush too. Nana, thank you so much. Oh, I love you so much, Nana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't wait to see which one we get. Let's just put this one to the side with the other one. And you girls can open them up at your sleepover. That's what I got them for, was for your sleepover so you wouldn't have to spend any of your hard-earned money today on Fashion Crush. Well, not unless you decide to buy another outfit when you go to the store. So I've boxed up the gingerbread cookies. Do you want to run them over to Fashion Crush now? I don't want to keep Katie waiting for her cookies any longer. Yeah, sure, Nan. And thanks so much again for everything today, Nana. We had so much fun. And I can't wait to show you my new outfit that I get in Fashion Crush. And I can't wait to see it, honey. Let me grab those cookies. Here's the cookies. Please make sure to say hi to Katie for me. Oh, of course, Nana. Well, come give Nana a kiss goodbye. I love you to the moon and back. I love you too, sweetheart. Bye, girls. Bye. Now it's time for your play along question of the day. What color were my oven mitts? Were they blue? pink or green? Write it in the comment section. And I hope to see you guys all at Fashion Crush. I can't wait to try on my new outfit. And thanks for always liking the video and subscribing. I love you guys. Bye for now. I'll see you guys soon.